video we're going to be taking a look at a new tractor attachment that we picked up the other day. Uh, we got us a six foot three point county line landscape rake. Uh, I've been wanting one for a while. I'm in the middle of a couple projects where it would come in handy and I saw Tractor Supply was running a deal on the six footer. Uh, so I decided uh, let's go pick it up and uh, see how it does. So I'll get it loaded up off the trailer now and uh, we'll test it out. I got the landscape rake off the trailer, hooked up to the hitch of the tractor. Everything seems to be pretty much perfect. No issues with the rake or anything. I am gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of uh, lubricant, because I think it could probably use some. Give some down there. So now maybe it will uh, free spin a little better. Let's see here. Yeah, it spins great. And you can reverse it if you need to. Which that's pretty handy. If you need to back up and, and do some work in reverse. Uh, for now, I think I'm gonna test it out in the regular position. Uh, I went ahead and got the six foot landscape rake. Let's straighten out a little bit. Made sure I got the six foot landscape rake, not the five foot. The wheelbase on my tractor is around six foot. So I wanna make sure if I just wanna do a light scrape on my driveway and not like a full grade, I could just use this, give it a light scrape. And that way it'll also cover up my tire tracks and stuff. All right, as you can see, we're in the middle of a clearing project. All this dirt here that you can see was all basically unusable land. It was all picker bushes, blackberry, poison ivy, sumac. A bunch of stuff that we didn't want, and this is a big portion of our yard. So we decided to clear this area. Uh, there was actually an old fence that ran through here. I'd pull out the fence posts, get the, uh, get the old fencing pulled out. So we 
hauled and burned a lot of brush out of this area. I was actually able to get it to the point where I was just mowing it with my lawnmower, uh, but because of how many stumps and little trees and sumac trees that we pulled out, the terrain was so uneven, I thought it would just be best to regrade the entire thing and get it as even as possible. Uh, and I was actually raking a lot of this, these roots and kind of scraggly stuff by hand with a landscape rake. And uh, I actually got a lot of it out that way. It took quite a while and that was kind of when I decided it was time to get the landscape rake for the tractor. Uh, so we are eventually, once I get this all graded, reseeded and everything, we're gonna move the chicken coop, place it there. Uh, build a, a fairly large fence in that area and it should be a nice spot for them. We're not going to get into too much of that today. That's going to be a separate video. Uh, today we're just going to focus on this landscape rake and see how well it can pick up some of this. We've got roots, grass clumps, rocks, and stuff like that. Also, uh, like most of us in the Midwest, the Northeast, uh, we're here in Michigan. Uh, we've been dealing with a bit of a drought this late spring, early summer. Uh, so this has been a incredibly dusty project for us. Uh, it's gonna be pretty dusty today when we're filming. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyways. I've actually gotten poison ivy from this project twice, which has been less than ideal. I need to do a better job of wearing proper clothes, long sleeves, and scrubbing that urethal off my skin better when I'm in the shower after uh, work days. So I'm gonna go ahead, fire up the tractor, and see how this landscape rake performs. Pretty impressed with how that landscape rake performs. Uh, this would have taken me several hours to hand rake. This is a serious mound of debris, roots, sticks, and stuff. Uh, and I really only did a few passes. It's just way too dry to be doing this. Uh, so then I'm gonna come out after we get a good rain. It'll really kind of keep the dust down. It is just too dusty to be out here. Uh, but I was just itching to come out here and test out raking this stuff. And I would say the landscape rake performed perfectly. I think I'm also gonna go ahead and do most of the finishing work and kind of smoothing and leveling out with that landscape rake as well. Uh, Cause that, with that box blade, I just noticed I was maybe digging down too deep or taking too much dirt and causing some low spots. Um, that's probably user error, uh, but I found with that with that landscape rake, I wasn't taking too much material uh, and I could kind of really finesse and kind of precisely take the amount of dirt and move it where I wanted to move it uh, a little better than I can with the box blade.
This is actually another reason why we wanted to go ahead and purchase this landscape rake. Uh, you can see on this side of our driveway, we've kind of got a nice approach. Uh, we used to have that on this side. These bushes need to be cut back, and we're actually going to pull these bushes at a later date. But we used to have that same approach that we have on this side, on this side. And I noticed over time, after you grade and plow snow, the gravel just kind of slowly works its way out. The driveway starts to widen, and I kind of just want that landscape rake to be able to bring that gravel back in and kind of define these lines and make the driveway look a little nicer. Uh, but actually last fall we had a fiber company come out and install a fiber line from the road all the way back here to the house, uh, which has been great. Uh, we're super thankful to have fiber. Uh, but when they ran that line and trenched it, they covered their trench up with gravel from the driveway. So one of the reasons why I wanted to buy that landscape rake was so I could kind of putz down the driveway, set that rake at an angle and bring all this dirt on the edge of the driveway back into the center of the driveway where it should be. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of test that out right now and we'll see how that landscape rake performs. All right, I think the landscape rake performed well on the driveway. Like I said, we had that gravel built up from our fiber line, raked it out and brought it to the center uh, pretty well. Uh, the one thing I noticed is I was worried about having the six foot for the wheelbase. Uh, but because these shrubs are here, I was kind of driving in the shrubs. That's where I think maybe having a seven footer or an eight footer uh, would actually have worked in my favor because I could have had my tire on the outside of the shrubs, but the rake could have exceeded past my wheelbase and I could have got in there a little bit better, which would have been great. But I do plan on ripping all these bushes out in the future because I do want a proper approach on both sides. Some spots I need to create a ditch along this side to get proper water drainage for the driveway. Another thing that I noticed is I think I'm actually going to start grading this driveway mostly with that rake. Uh, how I've been doing it for the last couple years is just with my box blade and every time it got bad I would just grade it with the box blade and that was working fine but I think I was kind of doing myself a disservice using the box blade every single time because I get this driveway nice and packed down um, over the spring, summer, fall months. And every time I grade it, I kind of break it up and I lose the, uh, the compaction that I've been getting uh, with all the vehicles and stuff driving on it. And with the landscape rake, I can just kind of scratch the surface, give it a very slight grade. Uh, make it look nice if we have a company coming over it'll make it look fresh and new I'm not gonna be taking as much material and kind of wrecking that compaction that I've been getting so I think mainly I'll just kind of use my box blade uh, to grade the driveway my initial first time in the spring uh, to get all those ruts and stuff out but I can see myself using that landscape rake and grading the driveway pretty much every single time this summer unless we get a heavy rain and it kind of ruts out a little bit and then I'll go ahead and use the box blade again. So yeah, I'm super pleased with the purchase of our county line six foot landscape rake. Uh, I can see myself using this a ton. I've got a lot of projects coming up where this is going to be perfect. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.